Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to your video on classes and objects. This is the concept video. We're going to cover this material and then a couple of other things on object-oriented programming before we go hands-on and code this material on the computer. So if you're looking for the hands-on version, zoom ahead a couple of videos and you'll find that. But for now, let's just learn the concepts, try to get a good understanding before we type stuff out. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. Now in the previous video, I talked about what object-oriented programming was for. Well, it basically allows us to create very large applications without having to code everything manually by ourselves. So the way this works is we basically have a blueprint for how something might look. So for example, if we wanted to represent a person or some kind of user in our application, let's say we wanted to represent me. You might describe me and say, wow, he has stunning good looks, he's brilliant, he's hilarious. These things are going to basically be attributes that describe me. But now, if you wanted to build an application that supported tons of people, you don't wanna to have to go and figure out how to structure each person using basically a bunch of different variables. So instead, we create a blueprint for what a person might look like. So for example, a person might have a name and they might be able to talk. Well, we can represent these in code, so name can be a variable, talk can be a method, and we're basically defining the structure. And this structure is what's known as a class. Now, if we wanted to make numerous people, all we have to do is, quote, instantiate this class. So instantiate's one of those words you can use when you're hanging out with friends to impress them, you know, pick up the chicks, etc. So make sure you remember this word, it'll help you. And this process will create what's known as an object. So the class is the blueprint. The object is going to be a specific example. So for example, oh! <laughs> for example, we have Caleb. That's one object. We can make another one. We have Emily and another one, Charles. So the class allows us to make numerous entities that are very similar. And this might seem weird at first, but literally everything inside of Java is going to be based around this object-oriented programming paradigm. So a user might be a very big object, but we can go down very small. Even a string is an object. So at some point, a string class was created, and we instantiate that class to make numerous string objects, which might have a specific value of, hey, what's up, or hello world, whatever it might be. The class is going to be defined inside of a file. The objects are going to be created as variables. So we might do something like this. We might say person x. We're basically creating a variable with the identifier or the name. This is the name, it's how we reference it. So this is the equivalent of saying int x. The person is the type. So we're essentially creating a new type. So this is a custom type. We create a variable of that type. We can create methods that have parameters of that type and so forth. So I'm gonna be explaining how to do all of that throughout these videos, but for now, all you need to understand, the three things, class is the blueprint, the structure, it's the cookie cutter. <laughs> an object is an instance of that, so taking that cookie cutter and making three cookies. <laughs> In this situation, we made people, we made Caleb, Emily, and Charles. And the third thing you need to know besides classes, objects, is that when we create a class, we're essentially creating a custom type and we instantiate it by making a variable 